And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's beautiful, it's early, and Bitcoin is taking it on the chin right now. So uh, what to expect? Well, I have a nice little Fibonacci retracement, uh, a bearish retracement here. And coming into kind of a key buy zone, we don't want to see uh, pretty much the middle of this wick lost, especially the 618. If we do lose the 618, I'll look for a quick move down to 66,540 um, and with potential for more. Um, I do believe that uh, this is kind of the shakeout before the breakout. A um, couple of things to note. Well, Larry Pink, Larry Pink, if you're into the meme coins. Um, options expirations today, 21,000 21, Bitcoin options are due to expire. With a put call ratio of 0.62, max pain point at 69,000 and a national value of 1.5 billion. So huge options expiration today. Um, so people having to make some decisions there. Definitely, uh, you know, something to consider. However, I did want to point out here Maybe. that... Uh, the obvious thing, you know, ETF inflows continue to be bullish. Um, we saw more inflows yesterday. Hopefully get a few more today. Uh, some people buying the dip. Um, but essentially, this is going to be the box of peace and prosperity or death and despair at the moment. Uh, right between the 0.5 and the 618. Uh, we don't want to see any kind of closures below there. Um, you know, above there, good. Below there, bad. 15 minute time frame uh, looks like it is breaking down. Uh, wants to head down to that 618. But I, again, you know, market makers are going to go for max pain and throw it to the, you know, we, we were with the bias with the throw to the upside. And I would still say that's intact as long as we're making those daily higher lows. Um, daily higher, daily higher lows. So as long as we don't take out this low, um, you know, then. We expect more of the same. We're at the top of the triangle. What's the next most likely move? Back to the bottom of the triangle. Um, and it's just going to get tighter and tighter until we get an explosion to the upside of the downside. And just bringing it back uh, real simply here, you know, the downside target, if we do break that level, is going to be somewhere around 58,000. And the upside target, uh, if we do break it out over here, is going to be somewhere around 81,000. Uh, following up on Ethereum, Ethereum uh, looks like it is coming into the green 55 just one more time. Volatility is starting to tick up. That is looking a little bit more on the bearish side, so it might break through there. Again, got to hold this level for Ethereum. Checking in on NASDAQ really quick. Uh, could be putting in a bit of a bearish engulfing candle. That is not what we want to see um, if you are going to be bullish on, in general on this Lovely little market here. And um, what else uh, do we want to take a look at? Uh, S&P looks bearish. Looks like down downside more. And the dollar is ripping to the upside. And I did think it was a good day to bring up gold. And I was just telling a friend of mine here, the top's probably in. I mean, you know, I don't see it going higher than 2,500, that 1618 FIB. Um, you know, looking at the good old fib tool here after a breakout, you're going to tag the one, six, one, eight. looks like it's getting front run right now with Dixie. So bullish right now, as I was saying over the past couple of days, you know, we don't want to see Dixie break above here. That would certainly be on the bearish side, uh, for, for this lovely, uh, piece of internet technology called a Bitcoin. Um, Solana also, you know, taking it on the chin and kind of in the buy zone here, heading back down to the green 55. One more swipe down there. I wouldn't mind seeing that at all. Taking a look at WIF. Uh, WIF uh, is getting whiffed right now and the M formation to complete would be all the way down here at about 220. Uh, I'm going to see if we can get a bounce off this uh, level here on the four hour time frame. It does look like it wants to come for this uh, bottom of the side, uh, you know, this last green vector candle, call it uh, 256. I'd be looking for a strong bounce from that region. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to make it a short one today. AVAX is taking it on the chin. Um, definitely getting hurt there. And... Um, what else is going on? Matic. 
Losing a major trend line. I wouldn't be surprised to see Matic down about 71 cents. When? When, when? Uh, well, it looks like the meme coins are getting ripped ripped to the downside at the moment. And um, that means more pain and prosperity here. Can we get a bounce from this level on WIF? Gosh. WIF is uh, getting whiffed here. I want to see if Casper is going to come back into the buy zone. Um, I would consider to buy anywhere along this trend line. Casper's looking good. Stacks getting stacked on its head here. Um, other than that, guys, I'm going to leave you off there. I hope you have a blessed and highly favored weekend. And don't get shaken out of your positions. The market is not over. Likely going to get a recovery bounce probably over the weekend. And then we will judge it from there. Uh, CMEs are still holding up here at 68 seven uh, again got the purple 200 you know easy target there but you know nice little trend line here see if the four hour can recover uh right now volatility is declining i would expect a bounce from this level in fact um that would be my kind of base case scenario and uh wow wow anyways um with that said, I am going to wrap it up there. I did want to bring up, I think, one more tweet here. No, this was the net inflows. Uh, Bitcoin having countdown calendar nine days, five hours. So looks like options expiration is getting the best of us here today, guys. Um, with that said, I'm going to wrap it up and hope you have a blessed and highly favored weekend. Take care.